Hello and welcome to SnowRunner News. Now about two hours ago SnowRunner tweeted that the PC hotfix has gone live addressing a number of issues and they thank us all for their feedback as we don't give them feedback they don't know what's broken. So basically they're, so they're thanking us all for the feedback and saying that certain players might experience uh, better but a playability on some of the games it all depends some bugs might be fixed for you some might not and it still mentions that please make sure you report them and we will investigate them right away now the next news they're saying is later today we will be releasing the public test server on pc which will allow anyone willing to test the patch 5.0 ahead of its launch it includes a fourth tamar map multiple save slots and much more full no that multiple save slots that's a uh, awesome we need that the full list of new features will be included in the announcement later today so the whole idea of the public test server is to make sure everything's running all right basically so if you're on pc you can go and have a look at that and give it a go if you're on console tough you ain't getting to see it because that's what's always going to happen with console with Sony and Microsoft behind it, they won't let us go and have a little play. They want to make sure everything's working right before we get even near it. So, so if you're on PC, you can go and get on that public test server and enjoy it. I'm quite jealous about that. I wanted to go and have a look on that myself, but it is what it is. Now, they're going to give us some more announcements later, so I'll bring you another video. It'll only be a short video on what those announcements are. Hopefully, it'll be telling us a little bit more about some mods for console. It'll be nice because we haven't heard nothing on that for a long time right so what have we got going on in snowrunner mods io and it seems strange over the last 24 hours there's not a lot of been mods going in so is it because they're testing for something here we just don't know it's a bit strange though because you know we're having average 20 to 30 mods a day and over the last 24 hours there's well 48 hours really there's been about eight so i don't know anyway first mod we're looking at today is the repair parts by wolf rack rock and he's added more repair and fuel for all the vehicles and that's part of his realism overhaul mod what he's got then we have the 310e king of steps by romy Buber, and has got constant diff diff lock on it and all-wheel drive 310 liter fuel tank on there added suspension and added all the different tire shape shape tire sizes sorry now next one we have real reshade by wolf rack and he didn't like the constant fog and haze on the game so he's tweaked that with this real reshade mod and it's part of his realism overhaul mod as well and the next one is the azov 4220 antarctic xxl by eastside 453 and he's added two high suspensions on there one's default for the 71 inch tires he put 79 inch targa mud tires on it upgraded engine in gearbox and a better turning radius then we have the the ank the ank mk39 not the 38 but it's the 39 special by rash decision and we have new tires on that a wide, wider wheelbase removed and re reworked the current suspension on that then we have the Voron AE4380 mini crane and sideboard bed and trailers and basically he's up that one so, up, updated that one so you can use the crane and actually get a get something on the back and hook up to trailers with it and that's by divinity then we have the WS4964 white tuning by black dritz and his higher suspension 50 inch tires six and eight speed off-road and racing gearbox and added more bumpers then we have rear crane and new vehicle add-ons by johnny john john he's just added a few bits on that and then a light up the night by johnny john john adds functional spotlights on the maintenance frame add-ons he's added um it's on to three of those i think it was then we have iggy's extreme navi star by iggy hodges and all it's got in the description is it's ridiculous overkill so if you want a ridiculous overkill navstar that's the one for you righto well that's it for today's snowrunner mods and snowrunner news now there will be a little episode later and i'll let you know what this announcement they're going to let us know what's going on so as soon as that comes out i will hit you up with a video 
I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and if you did, I will see you on the next one.